Okay. All right, so SSH. Username, mine's BHAVR, username for exit at login.expanse.sbsc.edu. Then you type in your password for Exit, and it brings you here to the home directory. So print working directory, home. All right, so this directory has limited file space. So depending on how much simulations you're running on here, if it runs out of space, it stops copying the output files. So I don't recommend running on here. Normally, I run on this file system, expands luster, scratch, then your temporary project directory. So the th thing is, you'll just change this to your username. But this is purged, I think, like every 90 days or something, except they've never purged it for me. So I'm pretty sure they just lie when they say that. Uh, but it has like a lot of space to write out files. So it's good to run MD simulations in here because the outputs are really big. So you can get into this directory. So it'll be CD and then backslash expands backslash luster backslash scratch backslash your username and then temp underscore project. So you can get into this directory. And this is where I run uh, some of the simulations. So I guess I have to show you how you get these files from your home computer into this directory. So let's copy something to there. Uh, trying to see if I have any folders I could copy. Uh, do it from there. Oh, okay. All right, so say I want to copy this folder, T Coffee All Files, into the project directory of Expanse so that I have my files there to run MD simulations. What you do is SCP space that R, you copy the directory. So that's where I'm in right now. And then it's login dot expanse colon backslash and then the expanse directory you want to copy it to. Only one backslash here. So it's SCP. This is your copy command from your home direct from your home folder on your home computer to this directory in expanse. So SCP R. <laughs> Then you copy your uh, print working directory thing. And then you write like you do in the login, but you just put this part. 
and then colon backslash and then the directory you want it to go to. So this is a directory of your home computer and this is where you want it to go with an expanse and you press enter and you type in your password to get into expanse. So it copies these files into there, into expanse. So now if I check that out, I'll see that I have this tea coffee folder that I um, copied into expanse. So it has all those files. So that's how you essentially copy files. And to copy files from Expanse back to your home computer, you still do it from your home computer, but you do the opposite. So you put this first. So you would put this first in place of this. And so you would do print working directory here and you would put this and then you would have your uh, I guess I'll just do it. So SCP, then I put this and temp project backslash this folder. And then I want to copy it into this this downloads folder. So I can just copy this. And now I just copied that folder back to, I basically put it inside the same folder that I was in though, or did I? So that's um, copying from expanse to home computer. And you still do this on your home computer. You never use the SCP or SSH inside of expanse. You just do that from your home terminal to log into those places and transfer files. All right, so now you know how to transfer files. So you would make the files for FEP using Charm GUI. You would put that folder of those files uh, on your- Brandon, Brandon, let's stop here, okay? So just briefly say about, uh, about the commands, like uh, LS and all those things. So- How to edit. To view uh, what working directory you're in, so the name of the your path towards the directory, it's PWD print working directory. So that tells me I'm in expanse, lustre, scratch, temporary projects. The command ls opens up whatever folders you have in that directory, and if you use ls lrt, it opens them based on the dates they were either added to the directory or the ones that have been edited uh, most recently. So tea coffee, that's the one I just added. So it shows up as June 30th, adding it to this directory. So LS again, so these are all my directories. To op go into um, a folder, you do CD. So if I wanna go into here, I do CD, I copy the name of the folder, enter. Again, I can do LS and see what's inside of my folder. Um, if I wanna go out of a folder into the previous page, I can do CD space 
dot dot and it'll bring me back to this temporary project directory. Um, so let's go back into that. I could use also use the op arrows to see my last command. So let's go back into this control directory. You can do ls. So cd, I want to go into this namd folder. So namd, I want to go into this one folder, one cd1. I want to go into this complex folder, so cd complex. All right, so now if I want to edit a particular file to run, to edit uh, like a run command or something, or to edit something in my file, I could use the text editor within Linux. So I can do VI and I can open up a text file. So I put the name of the text file, VI, this file, I can press enter. So now I'm inside um, a batch script, which is how you submit jobs to run simulations. So to edit, your file, you have to press I on your keyboard and you'll see on the bottom left, there's that insert thing. So that tells you that you can insert text. So for example, I could write, I could write whatever in here. So I'm inserting text. So that's essentially, you're just using this as a text editor in Linux essentially without like having to open up the file and like a separate text editor. You can just do it straight from the terminal. So after I insert my things, like I said, insert is just the, the keyboard I. So there, I insert. If I wanna get out of insert, I have to press escape. So I press escape and I can no longer, I can no longer um, type until I go back to insert. So if I want to save a file, I hold shift colon, and then I could write WQ. So that saves the file. So here, let's, let's add text. So so if I add the word test right there, and then I press, so that was insert I, then I wrote test, then I pressed escape to get out of insert. Then I can press shift colon WQ, press enter, and I saved what I just wrote. So if I open that back up, the test is there. If I don't wanna save something, so say I write something, but then I just wanna leave the file to what it was previously written out as. So if I write test here, escape, I can do colon Q. Well, I guess I'll change it to something else. So if I write save here, I do colon Q exclamation point. This will not uh, save the word that I wrote save here and I'll still have the test that I had in the previous file. So colon Q exclamation point. So if I open that back up, it still has test because that was the last thing I saved and the thing where I wrote save didn't save because I used colon Q exclamation point. So that's how you don't save the files. Um, to run an MD, to run um, a script, for like MD simulations, besides editing the, this um, batch job folder. So you have to put, um, like in this case, if we're running a, a CPU job, you have to put the number of nodes. So each node has 128 cores. So if I put two nodes, and 128, I'm running 256 CPU cores for this job. This also is, has four GPUs, so forget if these GPUs aren't here. This is the time 
uh, that you could run the job for and expands the max is 48 hours. So this is 48 hours. This is hours, minutes, seconds. So max time is 48 hours. The rest of this depends on what program you're running, what you need, what modules you need to load to run the program. Um, et cetera, but say you have this whole script ready to go. So you do colon WQ. So you would save all the changes you made. And if you wanna submit this job for MD simulations, you would use the command S batch and you would copy the name of the file and you would then press enter and it would submit the job. If you want to check on the status of your job, that depends on whatever cluster you're in. But in the expanse to check the status, you do SQ like that, underscore U, and then your username. So it shows the job partition, the name of the job, how much time you have it running for, number of nodes you're using, and whether or not the job's currently running in queue, canceled for some reason, um, et cetera. So again, replace um, to view status of job. Again, replace BHAVR with your own username. Um, if you want to cancel a job for some reason, you would do this SQ UBHAVR thing. You would do S cancel. And then you would put the job ID. Well, right now I'm not running a job, so I can't cancel anything. But you would put the job ID. And that's how you would cancel the job. Um, anything else I'm missing? Um, yeah, that should be fine. Thank you, Brandon. Um, 